Greetings fellow mathematicians. Let's talk about the ways that mathematics can be taught and learnt. Richard R. Skemp identified two ways. He found that mathematics can be taught and learnt relationally or instrumentally. Let's have a look at what he meant by that. Instrumental learning means that the child is given an instrument, is given a procedure or a rule to follow. So the child knows how to apply the rule, but doesn't understand why it works. Relational understanding means that the child is able to do the maths, apply the maths, but also understands why it works. So Richard Skemp thought if there are two ways to teach and learn maths, is one way better than the other? So he did some investigating and this is what he found out. What if the child wants to learn instrumentally and the teacher wants to teach instrumentally. The short term effect is that it appears that everything is going well because there is a match between what the child wants and what the teacher wants. But the long term effect is that the child has to learn ever more rules. When one rule doesn't fit a situation, they have to learn a new rule. For example, telling a child a rule that when you multiply by 10, you add a zero to the number, which is not mathematically correct. When the child now wants to multiply a decimal by 10, they need a new rule, such as move the decimal point, which again is not mathematically correct. So teaching instrumentally and learning instrumentally, while it may work out well in the short term in the classroom is not an effective way to teach maths or to learn maths. So what about if the child wants to learn instrumentally but the teacher wants to teach relationally? So short term there is a mismatch and so it's frustrating. It's frustrating for the child because the child thinks they just want to know how to do it, not why but the teacher wants the child to have deep understanding of why the mathematics is as it is. Now the child didn't start school or didn't, wasn't born thinking, I only want to ever learn instrumentally. Because if you think about it, everything you learn, you actually do want to understand. So somewhere along the way, the child has been told that the best way to learn is instrumentally, which is why they now think that that's easy and that's how they want to learn. So the short term effect is frustration for the teacher and the child. The long term effect is that the child and the teacher do develop deep understanding. The teacher understands that the best way to teach maths is relationally to develop deep understanding and so by continuing to teach relationally, the child does start to develop deeper understanding and actually wants to learn relationally. What if the child wants to learn relationally, wants to understand the maths that they're learning and the teacher is teaching instrumentally? This is the saddest situation of all. The child is trying to learn relationally what is being taught in a shallow way. The child is trying to find the relationships and the connections, but they're not being taught explicitly. The child decides that they are not smart enough to understand maths. They disengage from maths, they end up dropping maths. And then as adults, they tell their children that they were no good at maths either. I talk to a lot of teachers, a lot of adults about maths. And so often they say to me, I was never good at maths at school. I never liked maths. And then when I say to them, oh, what do you mean by that? What maths weren't you good at? They never actually mention any maths. They mention the way that they were taught maths the way that their teacher engaged them or didn't engage them in the maths. So it wasn't maths that they weren't good at, it was the way that they were taught maths that prevented them from being good at maths. There's research that says that up to 75% of children in a high school maths class fail any given test. 
So now let's go on to the best one of all. What if the child wants to learn relationally? And think about it, every child wants to understand what they're learning. There's no point in learning something that you don't understand. And the teacher is teaching relationally. There is a match, the children are investigating, the teacher is investigating. The teacher and the child are developing deep understanding of mathematics. The long-term effect is that the child doesn't drop maths. The child continues to study maths, ends up in a maths related career and quite literally saves the world.